because of what you're seeing in the the materials and the paint and the kind of emptiness of it, I think makes it haunting. It's not falling down, but you can see that it's empty and that it hasn't been loved in a long time. And I think that kind of leads to that sort of haunting feeling about it. Pocahontas was built around the Pocahontas Coal Company, and it's very isolated. It's even difficult to get up there today. But at the time that it was first built, the population there was nearly 4,000 people. The coal mine went out of business in the 1950s when they mined out all the coal there, so there wasn't really anything left to bother mining. Many of the people moved out because there was no longer a business there, uh, no longer industry, and there's nothing really nearby to commute to. And now the population there is less than 400, but all those buildings are still there, and many of them are Victorian. There's some cast iron storefronts and things there that are just beautiful, amazing buildings, but if you look at them a little bit more closely, they've collapsed behind the facades. So it's really very sad and kind of poignant to look at, um, but it is a, it's a neat place. It makes you think when you go there. All of these communities had something that was important to them at one time, and that's why they were formed. They were either formed around an industry, which is probably gone now, or at least is a shadow of its former self, or they may have been built around a transportation mode. For instance, uh, the railroad may have stopped there, or the railroad may have come there at one time and doesn't anymore, or they may have been built around a way of life. I think that the older builders really did have more pride in what they were doing. Because a lot of times you'll find old photographs where you'll see a new building that was built in the late 1800s or early 1900s. And all of the builders will be standing around that building just posing for that photograph to show that yes, we just built this nice new store building. One of the things that I would like to achieve is to make people more aware of the place where they live uh, and just really kind of look around them. Is that house that somebody's living in actually an old school? Is it an old store? Is it an old church? What are the buildings being used for now uh, that may be different from what their original intention was? And also to ask the people that are around you about your place. You can often find old timers that have lived there for many, many years, and they can tell you all kinds of stories of what the place once was and when it was booming and you couldn't even find a parking place downtown. And they may remember going downtown to buy their prom dress or um, going into town every Saturday to go to the movie, which was only five cents or <laughs> something like that. But stories like that are, are really interesting, particularly when you live in a place that's completely different than it was um, at one time and everything may be empty now. Thank you.